Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. By Charlotte. Designed to be cherished. Luxurious jewelry. Now at Betty Blue. SAFM News Briefing. Hello, I'm Alicia McFarlane. Three people have been rushed to hospital following an alleged stabbing at a Canberra university. Police were called to ANU this afternoon and have since arrested one person. Two of the wounded have suffered stab wounds. The other was allegedly assaulted. Popular dating apps have been handed an ultimatum, create a voluntary industry code of practice to improve safety or see the federal government step in. Communications Minister Michelle Rowland says they have until the middle of next year to implement the changes. Online dating is actually the most popular way for Australians to meet new people and to form new relationships. But these services have also been used to cause harm. In particular, the government is concerned about rates of sexual harassment, unsolicited sexual images and violence facilitated by these platforms. A push from the opposition to switch from coal-fueled power stations to nuclear would cost $387 billion, according to new analysis released by the Energy Minister. But opposition leader Peter Dutton is standing firm, talking up small modular reactors as the future of our power grid to help cut emissions. I want to see power prices come down in our country. I don't want to see them continue to go up every quarter under Labor. I don't believe that Chris Bowen has a credible path to get to net zero by 2050 without the use of latest technology nuclear. It's zero emissions. It firms up renewables. AFL legend Ron Barassi will be farewelled with a state funeral in Melbourne. His family has accepted an offer from the state government with the service to honour his extraordinary life. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. In sport, Collingwood captain Darcy Moore has trained fully today and appeared untroubled by a wrist injury, while Taylor Adams ran laps as he looks to be fit for a potential grand final if the Magpies can get past the Giants on Friday. And our Aussie batters have crumbled as South Africa sealed the one-day series 3-2, to two, but stand-in skipper Mitch Marsh says they're happy with their tour ahead of next month's World Cup in India. We played some really good cricket, got back to the T20 series, we played some really good cricket as well with some young guys that came into our squad, so they're just plenty of positives to take. Buying or selling rural or residential properties, Villa, Juan and John. This is SAFM Weather. 19 with a shower or two for the rest of the day across the limestone coast. Much the same tomorrow, but with some strong winds. Exposing the history that haunts hundreds of thousands of Aussies, The Secrets We Keep, Shame Lies and Family podcast is out now on the Listener app.